Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Ostrev and our wonderful little settlement. So, in the last video, we uh, we went a bit over our timer, <laughs> but we were trying to solve our issue once more of clothing and our economy struggling like hell. So we found a massive way of uh, or attempting to solve our economy by selling sunflower oil. However, we are unfortunately running out slightly of sunflowers. So to solve that, I'm going to do at least one grow of sunflowers. And I'm actually going to try and use the use the plow once it's done these four fields and transfer over because we found out last time that the the sowing season ends in about April, May time, not March as I previously thought. So in addition to that, we're also trying to up the number of people. So I'm going to be putting in more housing and more infrastructure over here. We're trying to get our clothes and especially our warm clothes sold, um, solved through the workshop and the tannery. Hopefully we're going to have a few more maybe cows or bulls being born this year so that we can slaughter these two cows and get some more um, leather to be used in the tannery and other than that we're kind of just trying a two-pronged approach of stopping people from leaving because there's no warm clothes uh, making sure we have enough crops and everything to survive the year and making sure that our economy doesn't get even worse so <laughs> with that ready let's rock and roll for the year now let's get my overlays back up and see what issues we have to solve this year. Right, going to, uh, that shouldn't activate with any workers because it doesn't require any. That's going with that, that's perfect. Um, once those four are, oh do I have one of them as fallow? Oh okay, it's even better. We will hopefully be done even quicker in that case. There is a chance in the future, without a doubt, especially if I get some more balls, that I can uh, create two more ox. I don't really want to do them with those two because they they haven't got long or that long left. Um, I can't use these two because they're already there. I don't think I can use them. No, because once I put them on a plow, I can't get them off again. So they will stay at the salt works. Farmers and everything are also, I should say. The fishermen and everything are rocking and rolling. Um, salt works are being produced. Is there anything else that I needed to work? I'm going to put them up to 500. Just because I don't really... I don't really see a point in not. If that makes sense. I'm, ho I'm really hoping that... Oh yes, another cow's been born. Perfect. In that case, I can slaughter you. Uh, I need to put some people in there to get that rocking and rolling. Wow. Those pigs breed fast. <laughs> Out of interest, how many eggs and such do we have? Not a huge amount, but it's not awful. We've got tons of chicken. Holy crap, tons and tons of chicken. New family is settling in. A wonderful messenger. Can I sell you sunflower oil? I can. I can also sell you a thousand dried fish. Let's have that. And 800 sunflower oil and a thousand dried fish. That we can certainly, certainly do. Right. So, thousand dried fish. And. 800 sunflower oil right let's get loading them up because we have more than enough we've more than enough to do it there goes my computer freezing again because my i think my graphics card might be dying whoop de do <laughs> uh yeah we can yeah we can easily do both of them absolutely easily do both of them right what was i gonna add i was gonna add milk to the market stalls that's what i'm gonna add I'm going to add milk to the market stalls. Uh, what can I remove over here to add milk? 
We need a fish. We don't need double fish. Uh, milk. Uh, we need to, we are building our orchard. We need the warehouse and the granary over here built, but that's fine. Those are going to be made. And I can put milk in with you. There we go. And the question is, where do we build more houses? Because that's going to take an age and a half to get rid of all those trees to build more houses. So I think probably let's build them along here. Another messenger is visiting. What do you want? That's not even worth doing. <laughs> oh, wow. So it's not even the end of April. And we've already halved our debt just by doing exports. That is awesome. Right. How badly do you need help? Oh, you really need help. Okay. Oh, you're both unemployed. That's why. That doesn't help. Right. You're growing. Okay. You can move over to there in that case. No, ah, oh, bugger, I should have waited. Especially for the sunflower. Bugger. Oh well, it's done now. At least we can plow the, uh, the, the wheat field. Okay, plow. Okay, so we get a hundred leather for each animal that we slaughter. Noted. Unfortunately, my sheep not really seem to be. <laughs> I think I might get some more sheep. It's not going to be too difficult to uh, to have enough money pretty quickly to do that. Oh god, people are running out of money. Oh dear. Yep, we have a lot of people looking for jobs. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And we've gone the opposite way around. Now we have overpopulated and we have unemployment. Balls. Okay. That's a slight issue. Um, quite frankly, I'm not actually entirely sure how I solve that at the moment. Let's get two people on each of those so that at least we're making... Oh yeah, we do actually need to make firewood and wood. Especially if we're building more uh, more build, more houses. We are actually getting, getting rid of trees around here at quite a nice pace. Oh god, people are struggling. I'm not too worried about giving out coins um, like a little bit here and there. It's if I have like, you know, a dozen within the space of a month or something that's going to that's going to hurt me. But yeah, I'm not too I'm not too bothered about giving out 10 coins here or, here or there. Right. What can we actually focus on building next to try and relieve some of our unemployment? So, we're about probably two thirds of the way through the year, and it's actually been a really, really strange year because I've been struggling to actually <laughs> find people things to do. There's so, I have so many people. Now, I have put um, the houses on hold, which might have been a mistake. Instead, what I think I'm going to do is stop migration but still have the houses being built. And then that'll give people jobs, but it's not going to, I'm not gonna have more people being added. Um, right, let's sell more fish and more sunflower. Or we have, by the way, gone way into the, <laughs> way into the green. Um, I've bought some, bought some more sheep and some a another ram as i kind of suspect that my one's going to die relatively soon um i suppose we could buy some warm clothes i guess but <laughs> do we have to buy like 173 for everyone to have one how much would that cost nope that's not 173 69 coins i'm gonna do it and just see what happens. <laughs> Everything for the most part though is operating. I kind of, I do feel like I have some things operating that shouldn't necessarily be operating. Uh, the tannery is going because I slaughtered some more cows and got up to 400 and decided that that was good enough so I put the batch size down to 400. The farms have almost finished harvesting. 
These guys are struggling just because I have a lack of manpower, but that's just because I was, I think all the workers were focusing on on this farm to start with. Definitely gonna need some repairs to them. How are my carts doing? Oh. I think quite a lot of you are gonna need repairs. Not enough metal parts to repair. Okay we can definitely solve that one. Uh, let's forget about the horseshoes, we don't need them. And you don't have enough iron. Can I buy iron from you? I cannot buy iron from you. Okay, I did see there was a building where I can produce iron. From iron ore using charcoal. Question is, I don't know how to make iron ore. I don't, even know, I don't even know how you get iron ore. It needs to be a narrow river segment. Um, how does this work then? So that's uneven terrain, so I can't put it there. But it needs a narrow. What? Okay. That's a interesting one. How am I meant to place that then? Oh, there we go. Well, isn't that strange? To be fair, I have never made a smeltery before. I'm going to actually prioritize that being built. Let's, um, let's open up the construction office so that when they finish with the farms, they can uh, come and help us out. Wow, even you're struggling. Where are all more my workers being used? <laughs> See, it's this is one of the, those things about this game that confuses confuses me so much. Oh, we have don't we have warm clothes now? Oh no. Okay, sorry guys, I need you. I. And the farm's going to be taking all of you, aren't you? He's going to leave in a minute. I don't think... Hmm. Let's just buy some iron off of them so that we can uh, get moving while we're waiting. Why do I have all of a sudden no workers? I went from unemployed... I went from having really high unemployment to now having no workers. What the hell is going on? Where is everyone being used? I wish you could see an overlay of how many people are working at each thing. I mean, I know the boats use a lot of... I know the fishing uses a lot of workers, but it can't be that bad. And now all of a sudden, I've got way more workers than I need. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I don't understand this at all. Right, what can we... Uh, let's trade apples for warm clothes. And now we have way more people than we need. What on earth is going on? How strange. We're still after... Jeez. So I don't understand where all the workers are disappearing to and then suddenly appearing again. Okay, my sheep have arrived, good. So I can slaughter them. The iron should have arrived, it has arrived, perfect. Let's get rid of that because we don't need to be storing the... We don't actually need stuff in the market unless there's... Things to be sold. Wow. Yeah, I'm so I sorry. I can't make shoes. I'm really sorry. I can't make shoes. So let's... If we just do 500 of each, that'll cover it. So, we're slowly getting our smeltery made. We're going to have a bunch of workers come now from the fishing because obviously they can't fish while 
the water is frozen we have people moving out which is what i expected anyway because we've had a sudden surge of people needing shoes and we can't need shoe well we can't create shoes without the leather which isn't coming in till february what are you wanting you're wanting sunflower oil yes please and fish yes please what are you selling absolutely nothing that i need righto so ladies and gents that is the end of year 10 we have just completed our lovely smeltery unfortunately it can't work in winter so that will be working as soon as the frost or the winter disappears in march we have gotten a new farm set up which we will be using in the new year once i've added some fields to it we have these fields set up for buckwheat and potatoes because they will be the next thing that are going to run out and we're once again going to try and do the old switcheroo with the plows once they have done um, plowing these four fields and then we'll move them over to this one. Other than that, everything has gone pretty damn well this year. We have turned off we have gone down in population a bit because we've turned off migration and I did that purely because I wanted to build these houses without having people move in. Unfortunately, we had some weird thing that happened where I seemed to lose about 20% of my workers and then they all suddenly appeared again. I have no idea where they went, no idea what they were doing, but it happened. <laughs> so that's a thing. We have, however completely fixed our economy we started with about minus 700 coins and we are now at plus 371 so we have well and truly fixed our economy purely using the export of dried fish and sunflower oil which is absolutely awesome so in the next video we're going to focus on getting the rest of these houses completed getting this farm up and running so that we have a bit of buffer on our crops because whilst we do have quite a lot of crops, we've completely run out of buckwheat and the next thing we're going to run out of is potatoes because potatoes are used a lot with the animals for feed. And uh, hopefully we'll also, from this, we won't have to buy iron anymore. So we will have an endless supply of nails and metal parts to do our maintenance. As always, ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for support and I'll see you in year number 11 and hopefully very very soon we will be moving in to alpha number five when it is released and of course i will do an update video on that